But just recently the carb started overflowing with fuel. So I tried the trick of uh, tapping the housing near where the seat is and that actually fixed it temporarily. So that tells me the level of the float is probably just fine, but the needle itself is sticking in here. This isn't just a one-time occurrence. This has happened uh, several times over the last couple months. So I'm gonna take it apart and see if I can see anything obvious, hopefully. And there's only four Phillips screws that need to come out. You can tell by looking in here that I do not use ethanol gas. And there's no green or yellow coloration at all. But there is a little bit of dirt in there. I guess that's sort of inevitable on a tractor. You're going to pick up some dirt after time. So I guess I'll throw this in the parts cleaner for 10 or 15 minutes and get that all that cleaned out. And then I'll just verify that the pickup tube is clear. And then we'll move on and see what's going on with the, with the needle and seat. Okay, so I noticed something right off the bat, which I did not expect. Watch this. See that? The float itself is sticking open. Well, there's your problem. Yeah, that's interesting. So it looks like the base of the float arm is getting pinched between the two tabs right here where the pin goes through. How in the world did that happen? Since I've got it apart, definitely gonna check the needle and seat too. It looks to be in fine condition. The interior of the seat looks okay, but since I have it apart, I think I'll uh, clean it real quick. I don't know if I can get a shot of this, but the needle is going up and down freely. So I think the whole problem was that float was getting pinched right there. So I'm gonna show you a trick that's worked for me in the past. This is just a uh, sort of a polishing bit on the end of a Dremel. It's too large to fit inside the uh, seat. So I'm gonna reduce the outer diameter of this bit by running it over a file for a few seconds. There. That's nicely. I take just a little bit of polish. So I'm just gonna run some parts cleaner down through the seat. Now that I've got the inside of the seat cleaned out, you can see down inside there a little bit better. Nice and shiny brass again. All right, so the carb is out of the parts cleaner. And once again, it did an excellent job. That was only about 15 minutes. So I just wanna make sure this pickup tube is clear and then we'll move on. Yeah, it looks good. I can actually see through it. It's got those tiny little holes in the body though, so I just want to make sure those are clear as well. So this is just some stranded wire. Clear. There's one down here also. Okay, good. So I verified that's all clear. I blew some compressed air through that as well. Go ahead and reassemble it. So I've taken care of all the usual suspects. Now it's back to the uh, what I think the real problem is. 
I just want to spread these tabs out just ever so slightly. It's better, still a little bit tight. Oh yeah, much better. Needle goes back in. The float itself goes back on. That's a little better. I also like the adjustment of the float. Okay, time for reassembly. The gasket was in good condition, so no need to replace it. Now the main needle goes back. Run it all the way down until it stops. And it was back out one half full and then almost another half. Right about there. Okay, I think we're ready. All right, the carbs all back on the tractor. Let me turn the fuel on, see what happens. All right, the fuel's been on for about five minutes now. I've got no evidence of any leaking. Just gonna crack the drain plug to make sure that we've actually got gas coming into the carburetor. And we do, good. Let me just start the tractor and make sure we still got a good mix.